I am here with Scott Kalen of Kalen and Kalen Pickles, and he's going to be talking about all kinds of very interesting things. We're going to be talking about pickles, wrestling, MJF, and more on this video. I don't know, VOD. I don't know what I, this is going to be so many things. I'm going to put this on all my channels. I'm so fascinated by everything that you're doing. And let's just start off by introducing you to people because um, I imagine for I, I've been talking about you now for about a week, but this is going to be a lot of people's first interaction with you. So tell yeah. us about Kalen and Kalen Pickles. How did you get started? What's what's the story? I, I know that you like to go on, but if you can give us the kind of cliff oh, notes and then, and then we'll get all the details. <laughs> <laughs> Quick one. Um, so born and bred New Yorker uh, for my entire life. Um, known myself for for very specific reasons in Vancouver, British Columbia um, in the mid uh, uh, 2015. Fell in love with the city. Um, great food scene. I'm a big foodie. Um, I was in the fashion industry for 30 years. So nothing to do with food except I love to cook and ate a lot. Now, sometimes you find that you don't realize how much you love something until you can't get it. And that was pickles for me. I ate pickles my entire life since I was a little kid. I always had a refrigerator full of pickles. I got to Vancouver, could not find a pickle that I would put across my lip. I mean, <laughs> no, it's horrible. And I searched. I even went to some of the border to the Pike's place because I heard there was a pickle place there just to find pickles which weren't very good. Um, so I've been an entrepreneur my entire career and I went home and I said to my wife, I'm going to bring pickles from New York to Vancouver. She looked at me like I was kind of crazy. Um, but I ended up with another gentleman that I met who was from the East coast of Canada, built the first pickle tasting bar, um, in a place called Granville Island in Vancouver. Um, I found a third generation pickler in New York. I always believed pickles could be something that could stand on their own or a condiment. And we started creating flavors and testing, and I built this pickle tasting bar in Granville Island in February of 2017, not knowing anything about owning a retail business, a food business, or how to get personal product across the country and across the border. I brought a pallet of pickles into this pickle tasting bar, which is about 6,600 pickles in three flavors, and that lasted for 10 days. <laughs> up in 10 days and I shut down two weeks later brought in double the amount which is now close to 13,000 pickles and that lasted for less than two weeks so I knew I had a business so I was in the pickle yeah. business while I was still running a clothing company and my business partner at the time was building websites and I had this seven day a week location um, where we were supposed to be selling pickles because I had no staff <laughs> and the business took off and yeah. then eventually uh, we looked to expand out into the U.S. and settled in the original farmer's market by the Grove in L.A., where uh, we built the first pickle tasting bar in the U.S., where we're currently in the retail location. Awesome, man. These are punk rock pickles, Scott. 100%, man, DIY. That is awesome. Now, um, I, I, I love pickles and thank you so much. You, and let me, let me get this right out here. These pickles are phenomenal. I can absolutely tell why you've had such success with this because you sent me a sampling. I think, I, I think I've tried them all at this point. Actually, I think I'm missing a couple. I was looking around your website and there was a couple I didn't get, but some we don't ship because we had some issues shipping. Yeah, that's, that's all good, man. I got to, you, you sent me plenty and every single flavors. pickle. And some surprising ones. Like I gotta tell you, I wasn't I wasn't ready for horseradish to be one of my favorites. I was not prepared for that. So that was really cool too that you have these. Um, you got some interesting flavors that I haven't tried before. And I've gone around. I'm over here on the East Coast. We do we do pickles over here. Um, yeah. Believe it or not, I've been to a couple pickle bars in my time. <laughs> so so yeah, these are phenomenal though. I mean, these are like the best I've ever had. Uh, I appreciate it. So really, really good pickles. And thank you so much for sending those over. Now, another thing I found interesting is, is that you got this going like in 2020. Like, it's like the worst timing possible. So, so we we opened the pickle tasting bar February of 2020, a month before shutdown. <laughs> oh, now, man. the place that I built the bar is very iconic. 
So it's been there for 85 years. And we were told that we had one of the top three openings in the market's history. So I made a really I made a big decision right in the middle of COVID. There were only 10 vendors out of 75 that stayed open. Now, for people who don't understand, it's not like a farmer's market where you go on the weekends. There's permanent spaces. It just literally looks like a bar. It's got a, a painting station on ice. And I decided to stay open. And I stood in that pickle bar by myself for two months. Gloves, double gloves, double masks. And it was probably one of the smartest decisions I ever made. Um, we got so much love from the community and from people that I would have people call me up and say, how many pickles do I have to buy this week to make sure you don't float? <laughs> uh, it was crazy. That's and the awesome. other amazing thing that was born out of that is one of the things we're known for is we do a pickle flight. So we have 13 different flavors. And like yourself, you would look at it and say, oh, I'm not going to eat that. that. That looks kind of strange. You know, our number one flavor is honey mustard. <laughs> Visually, it's on your right. It doesn't have the greatest appearance. Literally, by far, it blows every single other flavor. <laughs> so I wasn't allowed to give out samples, but I think I'm the first person in history to sell samples. There you go. So I created a pickle flight. So you can choose five flavors, <laughs> it's $3. And then if you buy anything, we credit you back $2. So we've become known as a $3 date night. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. I mean, that's something that I would go for in an instant. I love to try new foods. So that's like really, really appealing. And, and that was what was great about getting the, uh, the big sampler from you was going through and trying all this. If you, if you are curious about that, I do have a video. I think you watched my reaction. Now is that, do I, did I have a typical reaction to these? Is that what people normally do? Cause I can't imagine anything else. I like now I, I, I curse quite a bit on this channel, Scott, let me tell you. Uh, all good, but um, it, it was uncontrollable. It was uncontrollable profanity when I ate these pickles because they are so amazing. <laughs> we get so much user generated content from people because <laughs> we, we're because we are very viral on social media yeah, and yeah. the reactions. I look that honey mustard actually. The interesting thing is, in the groups come to the pickle bar, and there's always someone who can tell, and they're the person I love, they can eat pickles. They can't stand yeah, pickles. Like pickles. They hate mustard. And that honey mustard converts 98% of people yeah. who hate pickles and hate mustard. That's awesome. And, and people look at me and I, I mean, I, I push real hard for them to try it because they're, <laughs> I love some food. We had a guy, actually, one of the first videos that went viral for us was a guy named J.O. And he comes over and he's an influencer. He, the girl brings him over. I didn't even know they were videoing. I hate mustard. And I go through the whole deal. And when I'm at the pickle bar, I'm in like, okay, and you know, we're, we're getting the whole thing going. And he lost his shit. Like that video went to like 3 million views because it's called I Hate Pickles and Monster. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, no, I definitely, you know, I, I actually had my uh, my kids try them. I had my wife try them. And yeah, they were, th nobody wanted to try, yeah, the honey mustard and like the horseradish. They're like, no way. And I'm like, no, nah, seriously, you got to try them. I'm like, just give it a shot. Just give it a shot. Like, it's not what you think it's going to be. And like, whatever you think it's going to be, it's not like that. Um, and like, uh, I, I got to give a shout out to the horseradish because like, I thought that that was going to go right up my nose, right? Like every time I eat horseradish, it's right up my, nope, mellow. It's actually incredibly delicious. It's one of my favorite ones. <laughs> Makes a killer Bloody Mary. Nice. Shot of the brine and a pickle. And if you eat red meat, if you take that brine and warm it, Take a piece of prime rib and get the prime rib and drink some warm horseradish brine. Pretty much a religious experience. All right, that's pretty awesome. That's pretty now. I I I know that there are. You, are you partnering with a few restaurants around there to do? Are are the people picking up these pickles and making stuff with them? So right now we do. We have a food service business. We work with a lot of restaurants. That's cool. Um, we're not on grocery stores shelves yet. Yeah, I mean that's something that we've waited on on purpose. Um, we're becoming a national brand because of what's transpired on social media and the viralness of how we are on TikTok and Instagram. And, and also, obviously, you know, the love that MJF gave us did, didn't hurt with uh, <laughs> <laughs> with our exposure either. <laughs> yeah, I, and I want to talk about that. Maybe now's a good time to kind of segue into that. And I, I want to get back to talking about you, though, and everything that you're going on with. But yeah, we got to talk about Max, right? Um, especially for my second channel, I got a second channel. that's all about, um, all about AEW, and I, I definitely want to get this story out of you. So 
let's let me set this up and and throw a picture up here so everybody knows what we're talking about so if i am if i'm understanding correctly you you knew mjf you knew max max uh, Ma uh, maxwell jacob friedman you knew him when he was this young this this, this iconic picture uh, of well, him yeah, and cm well, punk you go back was, this far with max when he was a little asshole <laughs> so that that's just, how far this goes back and this is not a character that he plays on tv <laughs> is that I what you're tell telling you. me it's authentic he, he, he was raised by two of the nicest people <laughs> i don't his know family i don't, I don't think if he, i don't think he could have been who he was without his family I don't know if he'd like what you saying that. Whatever he might say about it. <laughs> Despite what an asshole he was, he had a great family. Well, for me, now, I actually grew up in all places of uh, Anchorage, Alaska, but I moved to New Jersey about 20 years ago. And I tell you what, the tri-state area is the only place for me. I myself am an asshole, so I, I, I get it. Like, as soon as I came over here, like, yeah, we're all assholes. Like, it's, it's, it's just like, it, it's what we do over here. It's fine. Like other people might not understand it. The rest of the, the rest of the country may have a problem with it, but, uh, over here, we just, we just kind of, we, we deal salt of the earth, right? <laughs> <laughs> all right. Let me ask you, uh, so that, that's interesting. So you go back, you go back to like the beginning of Max. Um, you got any stories? from from back then you want to share with us or should we uh should we move on to uh to current events let's stay on current events all right I that sounds say. good maybe maybe for another time maybe we can get max on here someday to share, uh, share some stories i don't think he's gonna i don't think he's not the sharing type though <laughs> <laughs> no maybe not maybe not but that's okay all right so let's then fast forward so you got this you, you've known max uh for most of his life you're you're, uh, you're friends with his parents and let's move towards when when everybody found out that 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 there was this connection when max ends up at the media scrum after the revolution pay-per-view and he comes out eating these pickles now my reaction to this i thought this was the most hilarious thing i've ever seen because it, it struck me as a riff on what cm punk did um, the CM Punk media scrum being one of the most iconic, you know, press conferences of all time, perhaps. And he was eating these Mindy's cupcakes. So when MJF comes out eating the Kalen and Kalen pickles, I'm like, oh, I kind of see what's going on here. But there's also like some genuine, you know, love from MJF on these pickles. It seemed to be maybe, maybe a little something more. And, and, uh, so okay, I'm gonna. Be, I mean, tell me as transparent that. as possible, this was not. I didn't pay Max for that. I didn't know what he was gonna do. <laughs> he's been eating. He's been a fan of the pickles, you know, okay. for a long. Um, and there was no grand plan. Um, <laughs> being honest with you, we didn't sit down, and it wasn't like, okay, this is what's gonna happen. This is what's gonna be said. You know, the one thing is. And, and this doesn't come from me knowing his family or him. This is just like a fan, like everyone else. I think whether Max is an asshole or not, I think he's a genius. He is. Facts. He is a genius. Oh, facts. And you can't, yeah. nobody can say anything else. You can hate him, love him, not respect him, not like what he does, not be a fan, but you can't take away from the fact that I personally, that someone who watches, it's, it's a genius. So, and it goes. The old, it, it goes beyond wrestling. Like this is a very just, intelligent human to be at the just, spot. Just in general. And, you know, we were talking and he said, you know, just give me some pickles. And I, I didn't even ask. I'll be honest with you. I didn't, I didn't know what he wanted to do. I didn't, you know, we went, we, we went up there to visit because I wanted to see the map. And he's like, if you come and bring me some pickles. And that's, that's the God's honest truth. Um, there was, awesome. there was no meetings. There was no discussions. There was no, 
I had no idea what was going to happen. I didn't know if he was going to take the pickles out, if he was going to eat the pickles. He just said, just bring me some pickles. And I did. And that's what happened. You know, I the one thing I, again, he, you can look at him any way you want, but you, ha- you, you got to always have trust in what he's doing because he, he's good. He's going to do it. And he did. And, you know, that, that after that happened, um, and honestly, that when we posted that video, uh, we did a collab post on, uh, on Instagram. You know, it got like three and a half million likes. Yeah. Yeah. No, it, I mean, it's, it was, it's a big moment. Yeah. It's, you know, it's a lot of little business. Awesome. We were, you know, we were, yeah, we were taking off on TikTok and a lot of, a lot of influencers. And, but this is also, a, you know, a totally different market, totally different group of, of consumers. Yeah. And that's when I turned around and I, and I approached him with the idea to do these limited edition collectible darts. Yeah, you know, I'm like, what, what, you know, no one's ever done anything like that, but we, but think about it. We've never done that. You know? Yeah, yeah, it, it's really pretty unique. It's ever made a pickle jar with, with with somebody's picture on it, and it was super, super successful, um, and it was fun. And you know, where you know, we get emails on a weekly basis. When can you buy them again? When are they going to do more? So you know, we're we're going to work on some other stuff together. Nice. Um, nice. <laughs> you heard it here first guys all right there, we might have some more you know, pickles coming out i'm hoping he's you know he's willing to, to continue and, and i know he had a really good time with it and it was very successful and it was yeah. fun and you know for us it, it exposed people to a product and um, it actually changed some of our demograph numbers nice. it was the analytics were, were pretty crazy um how, how you know it, it changed some of the viewership of, of who's who's looking at our content coming out so it was pretty amazing i was unbelievably grateful that's um, that's just wild that he just kind of went rogue with it just give me some pickles yeah oh, i call like <laughs> nothing you know, like honestly i've never shared that story no one's actually asked but it was you know i know a lot of people think a lot of people don't think this stuff is so planned out and so detailed yeah and, and you know and, and you know how to get your pickles why do you do it and you know what i can't even answer that anymore. we don't but, know that that story lies with man it's the mind of mjm <laughs> you didn't know it. but i trust what's ever in that mind yeah, absolutely. You know what? I'm I'd be the same way. If MJF asked me for something, I'm doing it. I don't even it doesn't even have to make sense. It's fine. It's yeah. fine. Guy's a very smart guy. Um, yeah, that is wild that it was just like that simple. And yeah, you're right. As far as this story not being told, I, I've looked around for it. Like this is like the first thing I wanted. I think everybody went to go Google. You know, where are these pickles? What's going on? I think most people wanted to have these pickles. Like, these are not easy to get. Uh, these guys have been sold out uh, since you, so since you brought them out. Because of what's transpired predominantly on TikTok, yeah. um, we've had, in December, we had a, a creator put something out that crippled business, like crippled it because Crazy. we weren't expecting. I got an entire year's worth of volume in 24 hours. Awesome. So we, again, small business, and that was, that was right before everything happened. So, you know, that just elevated everything to such a level. And at this current time for the last eight months, we've been doing drops. We call them pickle, pickle restock drops, restock drops like a shoe brand. <laughs> yeah. So our retail location is always stocked, but online we would put out a day in time. You know, when we sold out the first time and I, and I reached out and said, if anybody wants to get notified for a restock, give us your email. And we got 20,000 emails in the first week, which is ridiculous. And we were doing stock risk drops and each drop, we've been opening up more and more and more and being able to handle more and more and more. We have a subscription model that's going to launch in the next couple of weeks and a lot of people oh, are awesome. for, Okay, cool. You know, Doing stuff like what we did with Max was just a game changer for us. 
Yeah, I could really get behind that. Like I said, like you, you sent me all these. I didn't find a bad pickle in the bunch. I tried eight different varieties. So if you're doing like a subscription model, that that's cool. Like you could any pickle you send me, I, I guarantee is going to be uh, <laughs> worth eating. I mean, you only have three of. We, we, I think you got, I think you got eight or seven or eight all together. Yeah, no, I, yeah, you sent me eight of them. I just got the MJF ones out here as yeah. a showcase because uh, I, I'm proud sure. of these guys. I'm keeping these jars forever. <laughs> Love They're it. collectibles. Yeah, absolutely, hundred um, percent. All right, let me go ahead and let's move towards um, this. So then, after the media scrum, the next time these pickles pop up are on an episode of Dynamite a few weeks later, and he's got the he's got the limited edition branded pickles now, and he's just coming out and just. Once again, I, I got to ask, like, and th th I, oh, I think, I think, I think we kind of already kind of know where we're going Zero. with this. Zero. Zero. <laughs> Hold on, let me get, no, let, me, let me get you back on screen. <laughs> Literally. No, <laughs> so I, once again, Zero. you just, just Zero. hand me the pickles, Zero. man. <laughs> I sent them, I sent them a bunch of jars. So we had the, the, you know, the, obviously the collectible labels and it's like, yeah, hey, you guys, I might do something else or something. I mean, nothing, like fucking nothing, like no idea. Zero. Oh wasn't even God. like, oh, here's a heads up. Make sure you tape it. Oh, that's awesome. And and you know what? This is what I like about professional wrestling is that it's not planned out. Like some of this stuff is planned out, but there's a lot of like spontaneous theater that's going to happen. But the and thing is, it's brilliant. he authentically loves and eats the pickle. He's been eating these pickles since I started. That's what's always been successful for us. You know, when... That's, That's why awesome. I've never paid a creator. All the people, all these people, yep. millions and millions of followers post about us, that do content about us, do it because we send them pickles, not because I'm writing them. A yeah. And because it's authentic. Because I've also found, you know, we see location now, because we're sold out, people drive five hours to our pickle bar just to be able to buy the product because they can't get it online. You know, I talk to people all the time, and I've had people come with 10 million followers, 15 million followers, and they post, and this thing happens. It's, it's not authentic. It's not like necessarily they're yeah. known for pickles or known for love food. But then it really comes off like we're trying to do a commercial. Yeah, yeah. And that's not what any of this was. I mean, it was just, it was just fucking amazing. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, now now I now I gotta wonder if he gets this cleared with AEW before he does it, or if he's really just 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 coming out with these pickles unannounced. I don't, I don't ask, man. I, I just the only thing I know is. Can't have like, like if you notice, I've never had AEW visually on anything. No, no, no. It's all I, that was, I don't, I don't. You know, it, it's, you know, I don't know if it's, it's easier to ask for forgiveness, that, than, than I, but I don't know. I don't ask if, if that question ever came up or I had to get involved. Negotiations. So wait, wait, wait. You, you've got pictures of Max on these pickles, but you haven't talked to AEW about this at all. <laughs> hey. <laughs> it's all good, man. <laughs> that that's how we do it. That's how we do it over here on the East Coast. All right, that's our ethic. All right, I, I, that's what I was gonna ask. I'm like, I imagine that Max is doing this and just asking for forgiveness if he needs to. <laughs> like, look, I'm just gonna come out here. I'm just gonna cut a rogue pickle promo because it was so out of place. It was so out of nowhere, and you could tell. And and this is what I'm glad you're verifying this. It's just out of love for the pickles. <laughs> like he just really likes these 100%. pickles. Hundred percent, hundred percent. You know, I, I'm I'm sure there's some good, there's some I'm sure there's some good uh, there's some goodwill because but I love his parents so much. But he, he couldn't have he couldn't have done this if he didn't love the pickles. No, it, it, yeah, that that that's why. Wouldn't it work? And you know what? It's true. I mean, like you're saying, like, yeah, you didn't pay me to talk about these pickles. I did not have to put out a, you know, standalone video of me eating all these pickles. Um, but I really, really Thanks enjoyed them. And I was honestly Whoa. excited to be eating such things that I didn't think I was going to like. And then and then liking it so much that, yeah, now you're talking about, you know, offering a pickle subscription where you're going to send, you know, random um, you know, art, artisan, oh, actually, artisan pickles to my house. Able, you can be able to choose. So Amazing. you can get a three month subscription of two, nice. three or four jars of your choice. 
All right, yeah, yeah. I might need these pickles in my life forever now. It's going to be hard to part with them. A, we can even change the subscription each month. <laughs> All right, man. All right, let's, uh, let me see. I got, I think I got another setup here. Okay, yeah, I want to ask you about this. Let me go over to, okay. Yeah, so not awesome. only... Not only, I mean, like, look, if, if there's any picture, a picture speaks a thousand words and, uh, MJF prides himself on not doing stupid shit. Now, I don't know a lot of different ways to describe this picture other than perhaps stupid shit, but you got him to do this. You got him to put on the shirt, put a pickle. I mean, how did, how does this okay, happen? Again, what is this? Get, what is going on? I sent the stuff and said, if you would, please, I would love to have a picture that we can use. I didn't give him direction. I didn't. <laughs> I, I didn't do anything. Oh, I didn't no. know if he was going to do it. I didn't know what it would look like. Oh, it's great. I, I just said, hey, if you could, please. Yeah, that's a good shot of something fun that we could use to promo what we're doing. And again, a total fix. So, and then you end up with that, which is what the hell is better than that? Uh, it's brilliant. Yeah, I mean, it's it's definitely, and this is before the face turn, guys. Right now, as of recording this, we're in the middle of uh, Better Than You, Bebe, where we're getting a very rare kind of uh, friendly MJF. But uh, we were very much in the middle of- Oh, well, uh, anyway, as I said, he's been an asshole since he was a little kid. <laughs> but but I, there's nothing not to be friendly about, because I wasn't asking him or telling him to do anything. I was just saying, you know, please do it. And, and, you know, maybe I caught him on a good day. <laughs> well, it's funny because I, I, I put this, I put that image as a thumbnail of the video where I eat the pickles. And I thought, oh, this will probably get some traction. It didn't do too well. And then I kind of realized I was looking at the thumbnail. I'm like, that doesn't look like Max at all. I'm like, it doesn't read as Max. Like the thumbnail doesn't read as Max because it's so I out of character. Or I read a little bit more like in the last couple of weeks. But uh, wow, what a what a great moment! All right, let me see. I think I might have one more set up. Oh yeah, the only other thing I uh, let me, let me, let me bring you. He doesn't look very happy. <laughs> no, is this not a happy look? Uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like a satisfied man. Okay, this is a satisfied man. This is how I looked after eating eight different varieties of your pickles. Really. <laughs> Something kidding me I'm doing that. That's why people might think I better set up. Yeah. I would have thought you were like, hey, come on, put on the hat, put on the shirt, man. You gotta do it. But no, he's just doing this all out of, you know, this this is all one hundred percent MJF right here. Yeah. It's awesome. And then yeah, the only thing I wanted to bring up here is that um so I mean I think I have a question related to this. Let me pull it up. I'll make sure I, I say the right things here. Um all right, so you've been sold out of pickles ever since the media scrum, and and you're you're already telling me you might have some other plans for some more MJF branded pickles, perhaps maybe more lines of that. Uh, do you got any plans for any kind of MJF themed merchandise? I guess you were telling me you're you're doing this pretty punk rock. Uh, we're not getting approval from AW, you know, maybe. maybe well, no, if I, I think I think if we got into the merch world, that, that's something we would probably have to do. I mean, I would love to. My background, you know, I was in the fashion industry for 30 years. So creating, I've got some pretty killer ideas. Nice. Um, to, to do some fun stuff, but we'll see. Okay. How about getting a shirt that said, um, you know, uh, the best fucking pickles, uh, you know, the, the, the phrases. I, I would buy one of those in a second. I'm going to have, I, I, like, I, I like. I'll put, it, I'll, I'll put it to you this way. I do have something coming out that you will, you will want. Okay. All right. That is very exciting. So we got some new cool merch. I will, in the I will guarantee every, any single person who loves MJF and has anything to do with pickles will want to, will want to purchase what I, what I have been. All right, that is very exciting, guys. So if you want to get a hold of this new uh, merch that's coming out, if you want to try to get a hold of these pickles, we got pickle drops every Tuesday, is it? No, they're, they're once a month. Once a month. Once a month, we got a pickle drop. So if you want to get a hold of these, very you gotta, simple. In the if, you, if you go to the if you go to our website, put in your email, and you'll get emailed and notified. Or if you follow on our Instagram, we always on TikTok, we post it. 
All right. Great. But there's a lot of new, you know, the way we're functioning is evolving very quickly because of how quickly the business is changing. The goal is to eventually have the site open full time. Problem is, it just, if I did that right now, I would be destroyed. Yeah, we we need we need to get you more pickle producers, a pack of pickle producers. You know what? It's funny. It's not just <laughs> how many pickles we can produce. There's so much. Let me tell you something. Ninety nine percent of everybody through this whole process was gave us so much love and so much understanding and so much support. You always have that one percent of haters. <laughs> Why don't you just make more pickles? You don't know what the fuck you're doing. You don't know how to run a business. Some guy called me on the phone, and he goes, Is "This the owner?" And I said, "Yeah." He goes. You don't know what the fuck you're doing. He goes, why well, I don't understand. How can you I said to the guy I said, look, I said, why don't you do me a favor? And he said, well, it's a true story. Well, you buy my company and I'll work for you and you can tell me how to do this correctly. Oh my god, you sound like all my own headaches. These guys sound like my comment section. I think I, I get I get one of those a day. Fun. Yeah, I get one of those a day. You don't know what you're doing. Your videos suck. You should do it this way. <laughs> All right, man. Here's the keys. <laughs> exactly. Don't write me the check. I'll work for you. No problem. You got this. You're absolutely right, man. I've been doing this for three years. I got no clue what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> you found me out. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, if you want to get a hold of these pickles, the links are going to be down below. And uh, my grave diggers are asking here in the chat. They want to see a grave digger pickle. <laughs> is, that, is that a remote possibility? Can we get a Mr. Hart grave pickle? <laughs> Anything is possible. Anything's possible, guys. So get out there, sign up. Hey, um, it's possible in the pickle world. Right. Okay. Tell me those people to get on to my social media and tell me how much they want that pickle. There you go, we guys. You might put your face on a jar. You never know. There you go, guys. So you got to follow them. Um, you're on Instagram, right? Instagram. At, we're on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. But Everywhere. Instagram, Instagram is the key place to go. Instagram is the It's spot. just our name. All right, great. I'll, I'll have the link down there in the comments. So check them out, guys. I need these pickles now, man. You don't understand. I got needs. I mean, look, do you have pickle addicts? Like a big thing on my channel is I, I, I talk a lot about video game addiction. I have a pickle addiction. Like the video game you addiction, know, maybe I'm not Brian, so much. I'm a I'm yeah. a <laughs> like, do you do you seriously find people like jonesing for your pickles? Like, how bad is this? I do. We it's need very... it. We need it, Scott. <laughs> the, the, the sad thing is how many it's how many first of all i've been invited to 15 weddings full-on wedding invitations i get oh, wow. people, hoping that i'll send them pickle full-on wedding invitations that's the sweet part the other part are the people that send me these long messages telling me that they have a terminally ill child and the last thing they oh, want wow. to eat is our pickles before they die you are kidding I, me i i <laughs> oh wow yeah no i i get some of that too i mean there, it's so and at the beginning i was like oh my god oh my god and then i started like looking into some of these things and it's like this is you know how do you look you want my pickles so bad it's not like me that you have a terminally old child oh, and that the last thing they need to eat is your my pickle before they die they're really good pickles <laughs> they're, they're just really good but yeah, no, I, I, you know, through talking about, um, you know, addiction in general and video game addiction and stuff, I receive some pretty intense emails sometimes. And yeah, like it, as someone just kind of out here, you know, just trying to do what you're doing, right. Trying to entertain or yeah, make pickles or what it, it is kind of intense sometimes what kind of effect you have on people, um, just kind of following, you know, your, your muse. Right. Um, that's, that's amazing. Yeah. You know, the aspect of, you know, obviously being on any kind of social media or having the ability to reach so many people which is very different than when I was a kid. Um, you know, I mean, who am I? Let's on the pickle map. But of, to some people that, that, that are fallen so in love with what we do, you know, last week, I, I, three times I was asked to sign an autograph. And I'm like, it's some guy who asked me to sign his hat. I'm like, you want me to, I'm going to ruin your hat. Why do you want me to sign? You, you spend 25 bucks on a hat. You want me to sign it? Yeah, you're the pickle man. I'm I pickle love man. your pickles. Yeah. 
it's like it just tears at your heart but it, you don't realize that you know when people you know i get people that curse me too because they're like i can't buy pickles in the grocery store really? <laughs> you you have ruined other pickles for me i had some pickles hey, from, I, hate you. <laughs> I had some pickles from a farmer's market in my house before your pickles arrive those pickles are dog shit now i can't eat those fucking pickles those pickles are That's the kind of stuff I hear all the time. I you just hate you. You, you know. Yeah, you fucked up all the other pickles, man. Like, they're too damn good. They're literally too damn good. It's, very, and, it's, it's and amazing. How, and if you if you were if you were only eating bullshit claws and pickles, like I don't even know where you would go after this. Like, if you if this was all well, the if, thing if that's is the true, jump you had to make. People, <laughs> a lot of people have only eaten pretty pickles. Yeah, a really like, shitty pickle yeah. out there. There's all. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just garbage. Well, I mean, look, I, I told you, I come from Anchorage, Alaska. Anchorage, Alaska has nothing but awful food. And so I put a lot of stock in anything that is made in the tri-state area. Um, pizza, bagels, pickles, any of this kind of stuff. You can't get this anywhere else. This is, in my opinion, you know, the East Coast is just superior when it comes to cuisine. I've been around a lot, too. I've been I've been overseas. I've been to the West Coast. I've been up to Canada. I don't know, man. East Coast got some magic stuff. I know there's good stuff everywhere. I don't want to be too negative certain on everybody. Thing. I know. I know. Thing. But certain I things. Give you, I, will, I will give you the heads up on something. It's not like plug in other business. But yeah. we have a we have a giveaway we're working on. which is so in line of what you just said. Because... Certain things are New York. Yeah. I mean, pickles are New York. Bagels are New York. Pizza is New York. It just, it, it, you know, Philadelphia makes the best cheesesteaks. They just do. There are certain, there, there's just certain things. Yeah. We're actually going to be, we're, we're going to be doing a uh, whole lot giveaway with a big bagel company from New York. Oh, nice. Nice. We're, yeah. We're, can I say who it is? Is it cool? Yeah. No, absolutely. 100%. Yeah. So, I don't have any bagel balls. We're gonna be we're gonna be working with Bagel Bombs. Okay. And we're cool. gonna be working on huge package, this huge bagel spread of New York bagels and our pickles that someone's gonna be able to win anywhere in the country. Oh, that's which, amazing! Yeah, that's cool. And yeah, a lot of people think that they've had a bagel, but you have not had a bagel until you have had an East Coast bagel. Like you just haven't. You have no idea what you're talking it's just, about. Yeah. It's just it's it is just a reality. Yeah, it's it's crazy. It's so much different. And like that was that was my case with like all food that I'd ever eaten. Like Alaska basically has no food. So coming to to uh, to the East Coast was just mind blowing. Like all the foods that I thought I understood, I knew nothing about. I'm like, oh, my God. And yeah, pickles are one of those things like going to a real Jewish deli and having a pickle was like, whoa, this is different. You know, this is this is wild. Well, you know, I, there's, there's a couple pickles I still make. One of them, which is the stuff we didn't send because we don't ship them. Okay. The, the fermented, the fermented sours had a tendency gotcha. to like explode because of the fermentation. Gotcha. We so we do a half sour and a full sour pickle, which is a brew, brew New York deli pickle. Yeah. Which, if you go into Katz's or any of the big delis, that's the kind of product that you get. That that does not exist out here. I mean, we have we have such diehard sours fans that wait. <laughs> and wait, wait, because we don't make a lot of them. I don't bring in a lot. Of them. It's crazy. Gotcha. It's crazy. Okay, that yeah. that explains that. Yeah, yeah. It's 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 a whole different thing. And let me ask you this, because this kept going through my mind. Um, why the cucumber? We can pickle anything. Like we can pickle, you know, radishes and carrots and onions, and the list goes on. Cabbage, whatever. Why is the pickle? The cucumber. What is going on with that? I, I figure you're the best guy to ask. Well, I mean, I know where it all started. The interesting thing is to say that because if you have a carrot, it's called a pickled carrot. Yeah. If you have pickled onions, yeah. it's called pickled onions or pickled tomatoes. This is not called a pickled cucumber. No. It's just a pickle. It's a pickle. So, and, and some people don't even like I, I've I, had... know a lot, I know a lot of history about pickles. I actually don't know the answer. I'm well, not going to pretend to. I need to know. I need, well, you have to come back and tell me. I'm going to find out. Well, it's, it's funny because as I've been talking about this, I've had chatters who have been like, are those cucumbers? And like, honestly, ask it. Like, some people don't connect pickles to cucumbers, but they are. They, uh, they're, uh, I mean, you, you, you probably know more than I do. I'm not going to explain. 
I can fucking explain pickles to the pickle man. <laughs> the really interesting question. I never, that's one of the questions I've never got. I've never even thought. Of. I, 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 it seems like an obvious question. Like why, 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 the, why, why the cucumbers? I mean, well, I mean pickling is thousands, thousands of years of the process. A pickled cucumber start, the pickling process actually started in India. Okay, cool. Which is where, which is where most of the very large pickle companies, the, that those pickles that you're talking about that you don't like are the ones that are activated. <laughs> Look, um, I'll still eat no them. I'm a pickle fan. I'll, I'll eat any kind of pickle, but I don't know if I'll do that anymore. Like my opinion <laughs> has been kind of changed. Yeah. And, and then you went and stuck MJF on the pickles and, you know, and then we're really, so I mean, my place. daughters are, I'm like, like, look, I'm an MJF fan. My daughters are like way more, like, especially one of my kids, like she's never going to eat a normal pickle again. Now like we're, <laughs> I'll have to sneak other pickles in these, your pickles back in these jars. Oh, well, you know, the thing is too, <laughs> that those pickles are our feet flavors the thing that changed was what we did to the exterior yes. of it so even when i yeah, tell people you can get that classic dill yes. right now but it doesn't have a picture yeah. on it so it's That's not going to taste the same yeah, I mean, you can just get a, a crayon or a marker and you can draw a little MJF on there and and but it's the same product you can get all the <laughs> That that's good. I'm glad that the flavors aren't limited edition, just the jars. Cuz the flavors are amazing. Yeah, I think I think my uh, my favorite I think my whole family kind of agreed that we are a, a spicy uh, a spicy spear family. That is the one I eat the most. Oh, the yeah, those are those are good. And the honey mustard yeah yeah i i spicy I, garlic skewers are my personal yeah those are those, that's what we buy normally um and we buy i think we buy a big brand that is it's kind of like a half ass version of this so they're kind of like artisan ish fresh pickles but they're not really they're still mass produced and in jars and man the difference is crazy on these thank you amazing yeah really cool yeah. Really cool. If you wonder what vampires eat, it's pickles. <laughs> some 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 of my viewers want to know. They're like, Mr. Hartgrave, what do you eat? Now I get now I have a perfect answer. Just these pickles. Caitlin, Caitlin pickles. That's it. My diet solely consists of pickles. Well, I was telling I was I was talking about this in um when when uh, on the live stream when I ate the pickles. As part of that, I was saying I'm actually doing kind of a bit of an intense diet uh, where I've cut a lot of things out that I normally eat. A lot of snack foods. Pickles are okay. Um, you know what? There's not, look, the only thing that's in pickles that people sometimes get concerned about is the amount of sodium that's in them. But if you drink a lot of water and you're active, you yeah. need salt. It seems good for you. But it's a great snack. Yeah. Even though, as I said, I'm a brine pusher. You know, we have... <laughs> Five months old. Five months old. Start eating our pickles, and you know, till they're in their nineties. So, yeah, we have a lot of kids that love the pickle. I have somebody that came in and told me that that he goes, my son sleeps with a jar next to. <laughs> that, Can't make that shit up. <laughs> that, <laughs> that, that child scares the shit out of me. <laughs> My, my son sleeps in the jar next. Hey, oh, I don't know. I'm messing with that kid. That kid's that kid's dangerous. Uh, now, now, uh, one thing that got uh, that we talked about, um, that, that people talked about to me, because I was saying I like spicy stuff, right? And I've actually finished my jar of jalapeno pickles, so I, that's that's true. And uh, those are fucking spicy. Now, my my audience was trying to get me to ask you to make like a ghost pepper or habanero pickle wouldn't that kill someone so the reason we don't do that so the, the, the also the flavors intensify over time yes they do but even if it was spicy you can still taste the pickle yes it wasn't that's what we what we try to do is that it, you don't just get fucking annihilated because <laughs> well, we have yeah. people like oh it's not hot enough i'm like Oh my God. You know, yeah. it, we're yeah. not trying to, to be a contest for somebody. We want people to actually enjoy what they're eating. I appreciate so, that. I appreciate that. Cause yeah, the jalapeno pickles are about as much as I want to go. Like I can eat hotter stuff, but Jesus Christ. Like, and yeah, that, you might get, you might get a batch the next time and it won't be quite. Yes. Hot. Cause jalapenos have a scale. A you range. Know, it could be a, a week. 
you know, the pickles last for four to five months. So that pickle might be the one that you ate might be eight weeks old, <laughs> and then you might get one that's six weeks old and it's not as potent. Yeah, yeah, because I guess the, the the brine is going to absorb in over time, right? Correct. Yeah. That, now the thing is too, the jalapeno comes in quarter inch waffle chips. Now those get even hotter because nice. they don't have the skin around it. It's absorbing directly into the jalapeno. I, I do have a little jar of pickled jalapenos now, which I plan to put on some nachos or something someday. So I I, I appreciate that about the jalapeno pickle that you've included the jalapenos. The yep. Yeah, that that's really cool. That's really fun. Um, so yeah, um, any, any more ideas on what to do with these pickles? I mean, you can just eat them. You don't have to do anything. Don't eat them. There's a million, we have a million recipes. Um, we have food recipes, drink recipes. The, Are these on your website? Much, we, they're not actually. Well, oh, I'm, worried, no. I'm trying to work with somebody on actually doing a recipe book. Yeah, get these um, on the site. The honey mustard, there's a lot of things you could do. The one thing we always talk to people about is if you eat salmon. Okay. If you take well, if you take a raw piece of salmon and put it in a Ziploc bag and cover it in the brine as you finish the pickles, it's insane. Twenty four hours in the brine, no other seasoning. Be the best piece of fish you ever had. It's just so good. Um, the jalapeno we've made with jalapeno um, some really cool tuna fish recipes, which I'm okay. up the jalapeno using the brine actually with hummus instead nice. of mayonnaise. Um, Wow. That jalapeno also for any of your cocktail drinkers. Okay. Um, fifty percent vodka, twenty five percent jalapeno brine, twenty five percent green olive juice. Pickle jalapeno and an olive. The dirty street dirty, muggy, can't see through, dirty martini. This is awesome. All right, that that is really cool. Uh, thank you for that. Now I didn't know not only was I getting pickles, but I'm getting marinades. You're getting pickles. I, I have, I have, I have. So you don't, don't throw away any of this stuff. It's all gold. Plus, you could drink all. Oh my god, oh my god! This is a whole lifestyle I've, I've entered into now. Thank you, sir. My pleasure. I have joined Glad the cult of the pickle. Well, it's funny. Um, I, 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 I I've uh, got this thumbnail back here that I'm going to use for one of the videos, and I was talking to my wife about how to how to market the video. I, re I rarely talk to anybody about it. It's usually a very internal process, but I'm like, I really want to get this video. I really want to expose this to as many people as possible because I think it's it's not, I couldn't find the story of how it happened at all. And yeah, you would think with MJF, you guys like sat down and like worked it out and like, and he probably had a conference, like you, you'd think he has a con. I mean, really most things don't happen that way. <laughs> and most things are more kind of off the cuff, especially with us guys from over here on the East Coast. We just do stuff. We don't give a shit. <laughs> I mean, that's how, but that, but that's been the success, my personal success and the success of my business. Let's it's do it. Been, got to step out of the box. Let's do it. You know, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Yeah, you got to put yourself done. out there. But yeah, I was talking to her about how to market the video and she was like, you should make it like it's a cult of pickles. And I'm like, yeah, that's a good idea. We'll make the pickle more mysterious. And it literally is a cult of pickles. We're not even making it up. <laughs> You literally have a cult following around these pickles. So you said you were intentionally not getting these guys into stores. Is there a point that you can foresee in the future where we will see these uh, in stores? A hundred percent. All right, awesome. Um, in, the near, in, the, in the near future. Um, you know, we've done something that I'm becoming a national brand. Yeah. Because we sh we've literally shipped to every single state. In the country, awesome. Everyone, including awesome. Alaska and Hawaii. <laughs> Those people need it. Alaskans, get your pickles. We yeah. to, we've actually shipped to Alaska quite often. That's yeah, um, I bet. <laughs> but so that it becomes an interesting thing when you have a product that people love is not on a shelf yet. Yeah, but that is definitely uh, in the works. All right, that's amazing. Well, I cannot wait to see your brand all over the place. I hope we can help you out on this channel. I think we're coming to the end of our time. I don't want to hold you for any longer than I than I can. Um, um, Great. I'm going to be actually meeting MJF in person for the first time this Saturday. Anything I should tell him to either um, incur his wrath or avoid it? <laughs> Maybe he just shouldn't say anything. <laughs> just, just keep my mouth shut. You can tell him you're my friend. I'll try it. I'll try. I'll let you know how it goes. 
Depends on the day, time. right? <laughs> I've known since as a kid, and I never know what the fuck's gonna happen. To me. <laughs> I can't give you. I can give you zero insight. Awesome, awesome. Well, sounds good, Scott. Thank you so much for dropping by. I know the grave nice, diggers nice appreciate having you. Hundred percent. Enjoyed it a lot. Thank you. Excellent, and thank you so much for sending over the pickles. We really do enjoy them. Uh, family's a big appreciate fan. That. And we'll, we'll keep your pickle. Amazing. All right, everybody. Thanks for joining us today. Grave Thank diggers. You. Keep. One more time, Scott. Digging, digging pickles, digging the pickles and eating the pickles. Digging it, digging it, digging it. Absolutely. Mm -hmm.